Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Britt Brings at Home, where I do videos to help you create a healthy and organized home. Today I am back in the kitchen. If you didn't already, I would recommend going back and watching my last video after this one, where I started my kitchen deep cleaning and organization. In that video, I cleaned out all of the kitchen cabinets. And in today's video, we're gonna be getting to the appliances. So keep watching to see how I clean my kitchen appliances appliances, how I organize my fridge, and more. I'll be sharing tips along the way for you so you can go and do the same thing in your own home. Thanks so much for watching and let's get to cleaning. Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm doing in this kitchen deep cleaning is I'm cleaning out the refrigerator. And whenever I organize a room or a space, I go section by section and get everything out, clean it well, organize stuff and put back only the things that I want to keep that we use and love. And so same thing goes with the refrigerator. I'm starting with the door of the refrigerator and I'm getting everything out of it. And even the containers that, you know, snap into place on the door, I'm taking those out and washing them in the sink with soap and water. I'm gonna sit them out to dry for a little bit. And then I am wiping down the door. And to do that, I am using some of my Branch Basics all-purpose cleaner. It is clean and non-toxic, no harsh chemicals, no fragrance at all, which when a product has fragrance in it, you don't know what is in it. That is the company's proprietary blend that they don't have to tell you what the ingredients are. And a lot of times those cause problems like hormonal imbalance. So I avoid products with fragrance and I absolutely love this branch basics because it's so clean, it's eco-friendly, you get the concentrate and you fill up your spray bottle with mostly water and a little bit of concentrate and it works really well. So I've been using it for most of my deep cleaning. I do kind of go back and forth between this and then also my homemade all-purpose cleaner, which I have the recipe linked down below. You can go check it out on my blog, brittbringsithome.com. And that's another clean one. It does have essential oils in it. So even though it doesn't have like chemical fragrance, it still smells really good. And then also those essential oils have some great benefits. So I kind of go back and forth between those two cleaners. I love both of them. They both work really well. And I'm just spraying a few squirts of the all-purpose cleaner on the door and then wiping it with this cotton cloth. And then once I'm done with the door, I move on to the rest of the refrigerator. And I'm just going shelf by shelf, getting everything off the shelf, taking the actual shelf out. And then I'm gonna wipe down the whole inside of the refrigerator the same way I did the door. Speed away from the holy mind. Okay, and now that all those attachments are dry, I'm just putting them back in the refrigerator and putting back the food that goes in those attachments on the door. So I keep our butter on the top, and then in the next one down, I keep like pickles and olives, things like that. And then in the next little container, I have things that I pickled or fermented like sauerkraut and pickled radishes and pickled onions. And I labeled them with this like brown craft paper tape and I love it. I just tear off a little bit of this tape and place it on my mason jar and then just write with a sharpie on it what is in it. So I know since I have a lot of jars of things that I like to make like salad dressings and hummus and pickled onions and all kinds of things like that. So 
it's important when you make homemade stuff like that to make sure that you label it with what it is and the date that you make it so you know if it's still good or not. And I will link to that tape down below if you want to check that out too. And then in the next shelf, I have like mayo, which I love this avocado mayo from Primal Kitchen and like some salsa, ketchup, mustard. And then at the very bottom, I have like spicy stuff, which I can't have because I am nightshade free. I can't have things with peppers and tomatoes in them. So down there is like stuff that's off limits for me, like hot sauce. So I got the whole fridge cleaned out. I took those drawers out, took every shelf out and washed it well with soap and water and then kind of let it sit to drain the water off and dry a little bit and then finished drying with a towel. And then in the inside, again, I just squirted some Branch Basics and wiped it down. If there were like cracks that were hard to get my cloth in to clean, then I would use a toothbrush and just kind of <laughs> squirt a little bit and scrub my toothbrush in there in the cracks and get any little bits of food or whatever out. And then I would wipe it down again with my cloth and definitely do this at least once a year because the fridge can get pretty gross. It's not something that we probably think about a lot to take all the drawers out of our fridge and clean like back in the back and down at the very bottom, but it can get pretty gross. And so it is something that definitely needs to be done. And so now that everything's clean, I'm putting everything back how it goes. So at the very top of my refrigerator, I keep like our fresh fruit, and then I have a container with some dairy products like yogurt and sour cream. And then I have our eggs. And then under that is where I keep any leftovers that we have. So I did Kind of go through and make sure that I'm only putting back leftovers from like that week that aren't any older than a week and that you know still look good and still look like something that we would eat and then I have like our milk almond milk creamer and then in the first pull out drawer I have some more dairy products I have some cheese and I used a plastic container that I got from Amazon and I will link down below but I really love it last kitchen organization video you probably saw these same ones I got a pack of six and I used a few in the cabinets in the kitchen and I'm using a few in my refrigerator one to hold my sour cream and yogurt and then one to hold the rest of our dairy and so I have the cheese in that first pull out drawer along with like our lunch meat pepperonis things like that and then in the next drawer under that we have vegetables and I have like things for salad so like spinach arugula in that mesh bag I have lettuce and kale and then like I have a Ziploc bag with some fresh radishes in it from the garden. They're already like chopped up, ready to eat. And then in the bottom drawer, I have some more vegetables, some green beans, some already cut up sweet potatoes, some broccoli, things like that. And then I had a little bit more. We're getting produce from our garden right now. So we do have a lot of produce. So I did end up putting some on the shelf right above the milk. And now that the fridge is all done, all nice and organized and clean, I'm moving on to the other other side to the freezer. So same thing as with the fridge, 
I am going shelf by shelf and getting everything out of the freezer. I'm also taking out all the shelves and the drawers and I'm washing them. And then I'm cleaning the inside of the freezer. I'm doing it a little different from the fridge. I'm using my cotton cloth, but instead of using it dry and just squirting all purpose cleaner, I am wetting my cloth with a nice warm water and that will help to get the frost out of the freezer. So I'm wetting it with warm water, wringing it out and then all over on the inside of the freezer I'm sporting with my all-purpose cleaner and wiping it down with my warm cloth. So in the freezer on the top shelf, I have some ice cream right now, which I don't get ice cream often, but we did happen to have some this time and some extra coffee. And then on the next shelf, I have some sourdough bread and some herb infused oil, little ice cubes to use for cooking. And then on the next shelf, I have some more mason jars of things I've made, some bone broth and some strawberry jam. And then in that bowl, I have some chicken bones. Whenever I make a whole chicken, I keep the bones and I just put them in that bowl until I'm ready to make some bone broth. And then in the first pullout drawer, I have frozen fruit. We make a lot of smoothies. So I have fruit for that. And then in the bottom drawer, I have some frozen veggies. Okay, and then to clean the microwave, you saw me already, I poured about a cup of white distilled vinegar and a cup of water into a measuring cup and I microwaved it for five minutes and that creates steam and the vinegar and the steam help to break up any bits of food that you have stuck. So I did that first and then I got it out carefully and then I just sprayed in there with my Branch Basics. I used my toothbrush to get in any cracks and then wiped it all down good with my cloth. And then for the stove top, I sprinkled on some Bon Ami, which is a really good clean product for getting off like stubborn stuck on stuff. It's great for pans, it's great for stove tops, it's good for like showers, like the bottom of the shower where it can get pretty, you know, scummy. So I just sprinkle that all over and then I spray with my all purpose cleaner. And then I got a sponge and I wet the sponge and then I just went around like in circles and then I re-wet the sponge and wiped it all away. And I made sure to get all the stove, all the like little cracks around like where the timer and the clock is. And that Branch Basics does work for stainless steel. So like my microwave and my refrigerator, I use it on them too. But another thing that you can do a natural stainless steel cleaner you could use is just mainly water with a little bit of white distilled vinegar in it. I do that sometimes too and it works great. So now I am cleaning out the oven. And so I'm getting the racks out and I am putting them in the bathtub and I'm sprinkling them again with my Bon Ami and then I'm spraying with my white distilled vinegar. And this vinegar does not have a spray nozzle on it, but I took the nozzle off of my all purpose cleaner and just put it in the bottle so I could squirt the racks with it. And then I just covered the racks with hot water and I let them soak like that for about an hour or so while I kept on cleaning. And then you'll see, I'll come back later and finish cleaning up. So back in the oven, I'm sprinkling all over with that Bon Ami. And then again, I'm squirting with the white distilled vinegar to help break up all those burnt little pieces, all the grease and gross stuff that's in the oven. And I'm going to just let that sit and soak for a little bit while I wash some dishes. And you see, I'm taking the dishes out of the dishwasher because the dishwasher had just been emptied. We only had a few dishes in there and I wanted to go ahead and clean the dishwasher. So I got the few dishes out and washed them by hand. And now I'm cleaning the dishwasher. So to do that, kind of like the microwave, I'm filling up a measuring cup with some vinegar and some water. And then I also put a few drops of lemon essential oil to help break up any gross scum that's in the dishwasher and to help disinfect it. And then I just close the dishwasher and turn it on, let it run, and then I'll finish cleaning when it's done running. So now back to the oven. Now that the bottom meat and the vinegar has been soaking for a little bit, it's time to scrub it. And so I'm using this scrubber that I got from Grove Collaborative. I'll put the link to it down below. It works really well for scrubbing things that just don't work as well with, you know, using a rag. So I wet it and then I just went to town scrubbing the door of the 
oven and then all around inside and then it didn't get it all off right away so I did end up sprinkling some more bonami and spraying with some more vinegar and scrubbing some more a few more times until most of the stuck on grease from that glass oven door came off. There's still a little bit there, but it does look a whole lot better than it was at the beginning. Okay, so I finished finally scrubbing down that oven, the oven door, and I did take a wet sponge and, you know, wiped away all that I was scrubbing and re-wet the sponge several times and wiped again until it was all clean. And then I took that same scrubber and scrubbed the oven racks and the stuff came off pretty easily since it had been soaking in water and vinegar and bonami. And then I put them back in, had a little struggle with putting them back in, but I finally did get them back in how they go in the oven. And then I just cleaned the outside of the oven. I used my toothbrush again to get in all the cracks that I couldn't reach with my hand and then sprayed my all purpose cleaner all over and wiped it all down well with a microfiber cloth. And I do find that a microfiber cloth works best for wiping down stainless steel. And then I just got everything out from that drawer at the bottom of the oven. I keep all of our pans, baking sheets down there. So I got all that stuff out and then just sprayed with my all-purpose cleaner and wiped it out well. If you have a lot of crumbs down there, you can get your vacuum cleaner and use the hose attachment and vacuum it up. But I didn't have a whole lot of crumbs, so I just used my cloth and got everything out with my hand. And then I just did the same thing with the other appliances. I wiped down the outside of the dishwasher and then also the refrigerator. Okay, now that the dishwasher is done running, I carefully got out that cup of vinegar water and it did the same thing it did with the microwave. It created steam in there and the vinegar helped to pull out any stuck on stuff. And so it was really easy to clean. So I just sprayed some of my all purpose cleaner and wiped everything down the door, the sides, the back, the bottom of the dishwasher. And then also I got the filter out of the bottom and rinsed it all out. And then when I cleaned the cabinets in my last video, I forgot about this cabinet. So now I'm cleaning out that cabinet under my sink. I'm starting by cleaning the outside, just spraying a little bit of my all-purpose cleaner, using a toothbrush to get in all those cracks and grooves, and then wiping it all down. Then I open up the cabinet and got everything out, and same thing, sprayed my all-purpose cleaner and wiped everything down good. And it was a little gross in here. It did need a lot more like scrubbing to get off little bits of food and stuff. I made sure to 
wipe down the pipes that are in there and the trash can. And then this bin that I keep our dish soap and stuff in, I clean that out good. And then I put our little dishwasher cleaning packets in a little container. And in that box, I also have our like dish soap for hand washing dishes, our dishwasher little pods. And then I have some rinse aid in there, another scrub brush. And that's where I keep my bonhomie. And then also that's where I'll put my all purpose cleaner when I'm done. And then also in there, we have that compost bucket that we put produce, scraps, coffee grounds, and eggshells and things like that. And my oldest son, it's one of his chores that he takes the compost out whenever it's getting full and he dumps it out or our compost is outside and then he rinses the bucket out. Okay, so now all the cabinets and all the appliances are done. So now I am cleaning the countertops and I'm cleaning like the walls and the sides of the cabinets here. And again, I'm just spraying with my all purpose cleaner and using a clean microfiber cloth and wiping everything everything down. I'm also getting the baseboards and then like anything on the countertops, I'm also wiping down and cleaning good. And then also I encourage you like when you're cleaning your countertops to kind of evaluate the things that you have and see like if there's anything that maybe you don't love anymore or if you have a lot of stuff on your countertop and it's just very cluttered looking. See if maybe there's something that you can take away that isn't functional, it's not serving a purpose, and it would feel less cluttered and you would have more peace of mind if it wasn't there. Okay, now I am cleaning the windows in the kitchen. So to do that, I am closing the blinds first of all and spraying all over with my all-purpose cleaner and then just wiping one slat at a time until it's clean. And then I also make sure to get the ones that are bunched up at the bottom. I get both sides of those. And then I turn the blinds to the opposite side and clean that side as well. And then I pull the blinds all the way up and get like the window frame. And then I roll the window up and get in the window jam there that's exposed to the outside where it can get, you know, pollen and spider webs and bugs and all kinds of stuff. I make sure to clean that really well. And then I I close the windows again and clean the window panes. And to do that, I like this stuff called Ecos. It is a vinegar based cleaner and it works well to clean windows without any kind of ammonia or other harsh chemicals. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, and then I cleaned the whole oven and stove except for behind the oven. So I had to have my husband's help with this one to pull out the oven and you can see how gross it is on the sides of the oven where like in between the countertop and the oven, you know, little pieces of food can drop down there and they get stuck and it's gross. I don't know how Nerf bullets and all kinds of stuff get back behind the oven. So I wiped the sides of the oven down, the back of the oven, the sides of the cabinets, the wall back there and then I swept everything up good and then I also got on my hands and knees and sprayed my all-purpose cleaner on the floor and wiped it down with my rag because I could not fit my mop back there. And then next up is the sink. And so same thing, I spray the whole entire sink, faucet, everything with my multi-purpose cleaner and wipe it all down well with my microfiber cloth. And then for the drain, the bottom part of the sink, I sprinkle on some more bonami and then get it a little wet and scrub it with this little scrub thingy. It's another little scrub thing I got from Grove Collaborative. And then I add some more water and wipe everything down with my microfiber cloth and just make sure it's good and clean and shiny. I also spray some more squirts of my all-purpose cleaner and wipe it down again. And that Bonami does amazing for the drain. You know how it can get like kind of brown or even sometimes black and you know start to grow mold on it. The Bonami works wonders to make your sink, your drain to look sparkly clean again. And then for the garbage disposal, I put a cup of ice down there and then run the garbage disposal and it helps to keep the blades of the garbage disposal nice and sharp. And then I also take a half of a lemon and I cut it into fourths. So they're really like eighths of the whole lemon. And then I put them down the garbage disposal and run it. And that helps to like disinfect down there. And then also just to give it a really great smell because you know, your garbage disposal has lots of <laughs> gross stuff going down it and it can stink. And so that helps to just freshen it up. Okay, and now I'm doing the same thing I did with the oven. I'm cleaning back behind the refrigerator, wiping everything down good and sweeping up the mess of stuff that was back there and then doing my best to push the refrigerator back. It took a few tugs, but I finally got it back there. And then last but not least, I am sweeping the floor well and then giving it a good mop. And to do that, I'm using the Shark Steam Mop. I love it because it just uses steam to clean the floors without any harsh chemicals. And that is it for this kitchen deep cleaning and organization. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gives you some motivation and some inspiration to go clean your kitchen. And if you do, let me know in the comments how it goes for you and if you have any other tips to share with the community and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell button so that you get notified when I come out with my next video. I'll see you guys in the next one from my home to yours. See you next time.